Hi, I'm Mark Shaw with Ultratech International. I'm here to tell you about the Ultratech ladder system. It um, is effective in allowing you to have a low profile uh, spill containment and yet have the uh, amount of gallon uh, containment that you need by the use of the bladder. The bladder is installed and pre installed inside of a box, bladder box that has a bulkhead fitting attachment at the back. First step is to remove the grate out of the unit you're going to attach it to. And, and you're going to attach it through this hole in the unit. You want to loosen the, the threads, the, the nut off of here. The threads are actually left-handed threads, so it's in the opposite direction that you would tighten, say, a regular bolt or, or a screw. Take the unit, remove the nut, put the nut on the inside. You're going to take a scissors or a knife, and you're going to score across the opening. That allows the door to swing free. Inside you'll see some instructions which you can use to um, properly install the unit. At this point you'll notice there are rubber bands holding the unit in a pre-installed position as far as the bladder being tightly wound which is important. Don't remove those at this time but reach into the center and grab the bulkhead fitting that's in the back of the unit. There's a gasket on this side, which is going to go between the bladder attachment and this unit. Stick that through. While you hold on to the, to prevent the, uh, the bulkhead fitting from twisting, then you're going to want to tighten up the nut. It's going to go counterclockwise to tighten it. The gasket's in between these units. Tighten it down until it's firmly snug. You can use a wrench to tighten it all the way if you like. You can also do it by hand pretty effectively. That's now sealed so that any liquid coming into here, when it, the level gets high enough, will go into the bladder system here. Final step is to reach inside, pull out the rubber band, step it. You can leave the rubber band there. If it comes out easily, it's fine. But it's not necessary to remove the rubber bands and leave them in place. You do not want to cut uh, or um, cause the uh, bladder itself to unfurl or get poke a hole in it with the scissors. Make sure the door swings freely. And that unit's ready for deployment. We'll put the grate in. And now we'll fill it with liquid and let you see the, the deployment of the bladder. Okay, we've got a hose filling this with water. It's just about to get into the bulkhead fitting. If you have a leak of two or three gallons, it's not going to deploy the bladder that allows you to lift the grate out and clean it up. You have to make sure that you have a four foot by six foot area, six foot across, four foot deep, for the bladder to deploy in any facility that you have this housed in. Once that's deployed, you're going to have full containment plus 10% for your, any 55 gallon drum or less that you have on top of this unit with the deployment of the bladder. Okay, the water is now starting to go into the bladder unit. The hydrostatic pressure will cause the bladder to unfurl, knocking the door down and spilling out. Filling with water. Once the bladder is fully deployed and the leak has been uh, contained, uh, you have several options at that point. You can either take uh, some pump and pump out the liquid here, uh, pick the bladder up and, and let it 
flow back in here as the sump pump's doing its job. We also have a uh, bladder pump. It's a foot activated pump that you stick a hose down into the bladder, uh, pump it, and then you can pull that uh, into a contest of say an empty 55 gallon drum, 200 liter drum, whatever you have. And then uh, once this is relatively empty, you would remove the bladder, dispose of it properly, and then uh, install a new bladder. You can keep the same bladder box. You'll get a bladder, you simply follow directions to install it again, screw it back in, and you're good to go for a second uh, use of the containment unit. You're seeing half the unit deploy right now because we are on a bit of a downhill slope, so water's following gravity in this case. You're now seeing the second half unfurl under the pressure of the water that's going in, or hazardous waste or, or, or hazardous liquid, whatever you might happen to have, oil. And it's just continuing to fill. This can actually get up to the liquid level of the containment unit before uh, you would have any spill, uh, spillage over. And uh, in this case, it's got plenty of extra containment for a 200 liter or 55 gallon drum. If there were nails or screws or some glass in the, on the ground, we've done a lot of tests, there is an a, a, a extra layer built in the bottom, but the water pressure on top is not enough to cause it to slice through it. Uh, it simply goes up and over it uh, and uh, is, is, is leak free because of that. Um, the rest of this will just be filling it up further. I think this demonstrates the way the Ultra uh, Spill Deck Bladder System uh, works. We hope this is something you might want to try. Thank you.